I'm going to continue the discussion that from the last video on rotating a core in a uniform magnetic field to produce a current and we're going to discuss this whole idea of what makes an AC generator um, in comparison to perhaps some sort of DC generator and then hopefully we'll see if we can get onto this the effect of the induced EMF by changing the generator frequency so perhaps we can get to that in this video let's have a look and see so I want to continue using this um, this application now you notice here we have we have this over here without commutator and that's what we have here and with commutator now the difference the without commutator is that each of these wires let me just pause the wire uh, pause the rotation for a moment if you have a look here you see that each of these wires is actually sliding on a coil on, on a circular um, piece of piece of metal and so each wire is always attached to one of these circular pieces I maybe call that one A and this one B so it's always connected to one and so even as it turns around as this goes around and the direction of the current induced changes uh, that is reflected in the if you if you when I run it if you look here you'll see that this arrow will be going sometimes like this and then sometimes like that it will be changing to and fro and then that is reflected on the graph where it goes one direction is is positive and then negative positive back down to negative and so forth so it's going one direction will be viewed as positive and the other direction will be viewed as negative let's run the simulation again the the app again just to to see that so notice there notice how it's changing the the direction is changing this changing direction um, gives us the idea of alternating current now if I put a commutator in here now you see we get this always positive sort of graph here it's always in one direction and we can see that from the from the change here in that the wire is is connected to this which which alternates so you'll see here th this is always in that direction and this is always in this direction so it gives us a a type of uh, direct current but again there is this up or down it's increasing and decreasing increasing and decreasing taking place now the the next point on what we are looking at is what happens when I change the frequency so looking at this I am getting 9.6 rotations uh, per minute what happens when I when I change that so let me do that let me change it and make this go faster now you can see the level here the level is there uh, it's right at the top um, when I change this and I bring it right the way down can you see the current induced is is much lower now that is directly in relation to Faraday's law and remember Faraday said that the induced EMF was proportional was proportional um, and actually equal to the rate of change of magnetic flux I shouldn't be using a red pen there um, because it goes into the red of the magnet but um, you see it so now as I make this this rate of change um, as I make this the rate of change greater um, here we will see that this will actually increase so as I make the time period uh, that it takes for this to move around faster and faster I get a greater induced EMF let's use without the commutator so we back in for our AC current so because the rate of change of magnetic flux 
this the area that this is going through can you see that this is the area this is the area that your magnetic flux is going through this is changing that changing area is causing the changing magnetic flux and the faster we go the smaller this one is the smaller the change in T is uh, the greater the whole thing is and therefore the greater the induced EMF we also see from this that as I as I change this as I change it my graph also spreads out the period of time to go one full cycle gets longer it takes that amount of time where if I make this go faster obviously that is going to reduce so your your period and therefore your frequency uh, that you have will decrease as you increase the rate um, that this turns around.